Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. The Everything Me launcher has generated a lot of media attention, and today it's leaving beta, which means we are going to take a look at it. Okay, let's start out with what this launcher actually does. It is a launcher like Nova and Aviate, so it'll be replacing your home screens with its own. It comes with five home screens to start, but you can change it to one, three, five, or seven if you prefer. At the top is the search bar, at the bottom rests the prediction bar, and all the apps are sorted into smart folders. The prediction bar is pretty nice. What it's supposed to do is deliver applications that are contextually relevant to whatever it is that you're doing. So if you're at work, it'll deliver work apps, and when you're at home, it'll deliver entertainment apps. I only had the app for a few days before this review and after some tweaking here and there, it did a fairly good job at knowing what apps I wanted and when. Once it gets your habits down, it's fairly accurate and handy. We'll talk about smart folders next. Smart folders divide all of your applications up into folders based on what type they are and any application you download after that is automatically added to its respective folder. They each have their own wallpaper which you can customize and alongside your apps will be recommendations for more applications in those same categories, which is nice if you're looking for something new. The last the big feature is the phone search, and frankly, this was my favorite feature. You can search for pretty much anything, and it'll give you your results in both applications and on the web. So if you search for, say, Arrested Development, it'll give you Netflix and YouTube as the applications, and then the opportunity to search popular websites like IMDB or Google. The search bar can also filter through your contacts to make it easier to find them. Aside from these things, Everything Me Launcher acts like a normal launcher with your standard home screens, app drawer, widget drawer, and long press for launcher preferences and phone settings. The design is pretty standard. You still have your usual home screens that you can swipe through. On each home screen you can add applications and widgets just like your average launcher. The prediction bar and search bar are only on the main home screen so you don't have to worry about those taking up space everywhere. The app drawer and the widget drawer are your standard swipe style. They put a lot of work into the design specifically so things don't appear static. Each smart folder has its own customizable wallpaper in addition to the regular wallpapers on the home screen. Actually even your searches have their own wallpapers. So if you use this launcher and all of its features, you will view a system that looks consistently different, which we really enjoyed. There were also a lot of small things. The search bar greets you every time you open the home screen, and there are little animations here and there to make things look more active, which we also really enjoyed. It's not as customizable as your Nova or your Apex launchers, and we wish there were more ways to customize, but even without these elements, it's still a fresh enough of an experience to enjoy it. Okay, so here's what we liked. The prediction bar, once it's learned your browsing habits, is actually fairly accurate. It took a little effort on my part, but it didn't take long for the prediction bar to deliver results I actually wanted. The search bar is outstanding. Being able to search for a lot of things and then having multiple ways to engage with my search results was refreshing, especially for things like movies, TV, and music titles. The smart folders are awesome, especially for a guy like me who uses a bunch of applications. This is not too different from AV8's categories, except for there are more options for smart folders and they're easier to customize. With the dedicated wallpaper and the recommendations for each one, it helps make everything feel like a richer experience. The design was very well done. It has enough of the typical Android experience to make the learning curve minimal, but enough new things to make it feel like a different experience. Not every app is perfect, and that includes this one, so here are a list of things that we didn't like so much. We wish they would have integrated their search bar a little bit better with Google Now. While there are some things I'd rather search for in everything me search, there are a lot of commands in Google Now that would have augmented the experience experience and made it drastically better. Plus, fans of Google may not like having to open two different search apps depending on their needs. There are instances where the recommendations in these smart folders can get a little bit in the way. The sponsored apps are usually apps I wouldn't be caught dead having on my phone, so I can say definitively that the ads are not as contextual as the rest of the launcher. There are some things that context just doesn't fix. In the news section, I only saw news about things I don't care about from sources I never read from. It would have been nice to see news about my actual and interests instead. Also, Bing. Lastly, it is region locked. I don't know the full list of regions, so you'll have to check the Google Play Store and see if you can install it or not. Region locks are never a good thing. Overall, this is one of the most unique launchers available today. It's close enough to the typical Android experience to be familiar while different enough to feel brand new. The contextual elements aren't perfect, but they are still a major step forward compared to most of the competition. There are some things that need to be improved and likely will be improved in future updates. However, the pros outweigh the cons by a large margin, so 
if you're looking for something a little bit different, we recommend you check this out. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and let us know that we're doing a good job. If you want to follow Android Authority, myself, or the rest of the video crew, you can find our social media links down below. If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description. Thank you again for watching, and have a wonderful day.